classification as being at section 1. Title 8 displays running tensions for both top and bottom sides. This display is particularly useful in planning location of booster drives. These tensions are sometimes produced by competitive programs and may provide a basis of comparison. The See Other Caution at Title IX, together with the yellow background, warns users to look beyond running conditions for idler space limitations. Title 7.5, 12, and 12.5 are a good place to look for ideas on handling this. Title 10 details tensions and angles of wrap acting at each pulley. These tensions, combined with angles of wrap, are useful to pulley manufacturers. Even though the need for engineered class pulleys is signaled at Title 16.3, the precise information needed to provide pulleys meeting your requirements is given here. At Title 11, we are warned that the breakaway requirements require that the motors and drive arrangement develop an output torque of 159%. This results from a friction increase factor of 2. With a friction increase factor of 1.4, this is reduced to 121%. In either case, this requirement requires evaluation by the user to ensure that the drive selected provides the necessary torque. Failure of a belt conveyor drive to have sufficient torque to overcome static friction at startup is always embarrassing. The immediate fix is usually to get out the hand shovels and unload the conveyor. Better yet, select drive and motor with suitable torque characteristics. Title 11.5 details idler tilt angles necessary to accommodate horizontal curve radii specified in the file. Title 12 details acceleration tensions together with minimum vertical curve radii. Planning to avoid belt liftoff starts here. Yellow warnings may occur in data for tail driven conveyors. Title 12.5 covers deceleration and stop belt conditions. Yellow warnings at Title 12.5 are serious. Negative tensions and tensions Less than that required for support may occur during deceleration of horizontal and uphill conveyors inviting festooning or sag spillage conditions. Concave curves may intensify the problem. Tail driven downhill conveyors may have similar experience as does excessive power at a booster drive. The user of wind belt may model corrective solutions that may include extra tension adjustments of acceleration and deceleration rate and adjusting idler space. Cautions displayed at the optimization action plan provide guidance. Title 13 details the resistance caused by skirt board and acceleration forces. The information is useful in considering extended skirt board systems. However, users should first reflect on why. The leakage or spillage that may have brought this consideration may have another solution. Better belt and loading point alignment, reduction in surges, reduction in rate, extra tension re to reduce sag, adjustment of deceleration or acceleration rate, etc. However, assuming all of these have been considered, an indication of how much the skirt resistance would increase with longer skirt birds can be extrapolated from skirt resistance at column 4 of title. 13. 